First up right now at 11 o'clock, bus riders beware. Changes are coming and commuters will have to find a new way to get to work. Thanks for joining us here for Eyewitness News tonight. I'm Mark Sinney. And hi everyone, I'm Erin Connolly. They are putting the brakes on commuter bus service provided by DACO and the Department of Transportation and it is leaving some people without any options at all. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Erin Edwards is joining us live from New Britain with the story. Erin. Aaron and Mark, these bus routes were actually suspended back in September 2021, but DACO wanted to continue service. Now, however, they say they just can't afford it. I've been taking the bus since 1986. For 35 years, John Perfetto has been taking the same bus route from Southington to Hartford. Last year, she met Andrea. We'll meet and then we walk across the plaza, we come over here and we meet Sue. I've only been family. on it for a year and, and their family already. Yeah. After Friday, Andrea and Dawn will have to pick a new bus route. This comes after the Connecticut Department of Transportation and DATCO could not come to a new contract agreement. They're like family. I grew up with them. <laughs> so it's an emotional thing. This bus service aids commuters in Hartford, Waterbury, Cheshire, Southington, New Britain, Old Saybrook, and Essex. I just, I, I'm so sad to, that we're going to lose it. DATCO and DOT were unable to come up with that new contract back in September 2021. Since then, DATCO has been continuing service on its own. We've been running the service now for free at our own expense for five months, you know, in hopes that essentially we could come together and make an agreement. Vice President of Sales at DATCO explains the company saw a decrease in ridership during the pandemic. Their opinion is ridership has decreased, obviously. Um, and, you know, we're in a position where our costs are going up. DOT sent us a statement reading in part, quote, providing accessible transportation for all people to and from our Connecticut communities is our priority. Unfortunately, CTDOT and the provider could not reach an agreement on a new contract and service was suspended on Saturday, September 4th, 2021. Since then, it is our understanding that the provider has been operating limited service on some routes without involvement of CTDOT. We are hopeful that the service provider will renew the contract so these services can be renewed. CTDOT says they're also encouraging commuters to check out CT rides to find alternate transportation. Reporting live in New Britain, Erin Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Erin, thank you very much. Obviously, this stop and service could impact many, many people. We will keep you updated with any new developments, including possible alternatives, both on air and on the Channel 3 app.